Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? Happy Pi Day. Three period one four three dot one four. And if you guys celebrated Pi Day today by having a piece of pie, awesome. Good for you. I had a salad for lunch. Yeah, salad. Anyway, so um, tonight we're doing a soap review. We are doing Holy Cow. I believe is how you say that. Um, that is exactly the soap I'm going to review tonight. It's my first uh, first product from this company. We're going to go ahead and give it a shot. Um, so a couple of things uh, uh, while, well, before we get into the shave here. Um, Holy Cow is a shaving soap company. I, that, see, that's, that's the thing. I'm going to have to give you my first dig on this. Is when I tried to do a little bit of research, this, I bought this soap based on a recommendation from a couple people who said that they tried it and they said it was pretty good. Um, I went online after I purchased it and tried to find out information about the company. And actually, there is a website where they sell their products, but there's not a whole lot of information about who they are. Here's my thing is whenever I review a product, I like to know about the artisan that's making it. Here's the thing if you, as the artisan, are going to make a shaving soap by hand, that you want me as the consumer to put on my face, I want to know a little bit about you. And on this website, there is no about page. So here's the thing, I want to know who, what, when, where, why, and how. I want to know who you are, I want to know what it is you're making, and what it is you're trying to achieve as an artisan. I want to know when you started, how long you've been doing it, where are you? Where do you ship out of? Where does you where do you produce your products? I don't need to know where you live, just where you where you make your stuff out of. If that happens to be where you live, well then fine. Hometown is fine, maybe a state or even a country. Um why? Why are you doing this? Are you doing it just to get a little bit extra cash to put your kids through college? Whatever, fine. Are you doing it because you started wet shaving and you thought to yourself, all the soaps out there are crap and you're trying to make something different? Great. And then finally, how? How is your product different? How are you making your product? I don't need to know your secret recipes. Just what are you basically putting in your product? Now, having said that last one, the caveat to that is um, Holy Cow does list their ingredients both on uh, the labels themselves right there, and they also uh, list it on the website for each product that you make. In fact, I'm going to give you another shot on that. For those of you that want to... I don't even know if it's focusing, if you can see that or not. But for those of you that want to see what's what's in the product, I'll put it there. I don't think it can, you can read it, but just to go over real quick. Vegetable stearic acid, distilled water, beef tallow, potassium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, castor oil, um, cocoa butter, cocoa butter, glycerin, shea butter, lanolin, essential oils, and fragrance oils. So, um... This company was established, I'm going to say, 2014. That's only because of what's on the label. I don't know if that's when this soap was made or if that's when the company was made. I'm assuming it's when the company was made. Um, this particular soap goes for sale on uh, holycow.com for $18.99 for a four-ounce puck uh, container. It, it comes in a four and a six, I believe. Um, anyway, so it's... Uh, $18.99 for this, uh, which is what this is. It comes in two different versions. It comes in a vegan and a tallow. Uh, this is the tallow version. Yes. And uh, they describe it as a tobacco flower for the handsome gentleman. Well, I am a handsome gentleman and I do like tobaccos. Or sunflowers. So, uh, anyway, <laughs> having said that. Uh, the notes are bergamot, vat, lavender, uh, neroli, uh, high or light florals, sweet, powdery notes, musk, amber, wood, and tobacco. So, uh, having said that, uh, we're gonna go ahead and check out the scent on this. Crack this baby open, and there's a shot of the soap itself. Not super hard puck, but you know, and. Uh, I do detect most of the most of the notes that they're talking about, but for my practical analysis here, you know, I like to give the practical impression. It smells like a clean hotel room. If you like that sort of smell, you know, then great. If not, you know, uh, you ever gone to a hotel room and they all kind of have that same general clean smell to them? Assuming you go to one that 
is f made for not renting by the hour. If you are going to the hourly ones, don't watch my videos. Um, anyway, yeah, so uh, it smells like a clean hotel room. Uh, that generic clean smell. So it, and it's kind of it's kind of a light scent. It's not overly strong. I'd say on the scent scale, grading it as the curve on a curve because I like heavy scents. I'm gonna have to say this is probably a four or five. You know, so four or five on the uh, clean hotel room smell. So anyway, uh, having said that, we're gonna get this puppy bloomed uh, and get the face pre-treated with some uh, with some pre-shaved soap. Uh, today we're gonna be using the uh, Omega S synthetic in the uh, uh, for the brush here, and I'm using my Mule R41 open comb with an Astra SP blade. This is going to be its third use, probably its final use, but its third use anyway for that particular blade. Um, I got my bowl heating up here. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and get this soap bloomed, and we're going to get this party started, as it were. So we will be right back. Okay, folks, we are back. I'm just going to get rid of this bloom water here. Usually I put that on my face, but I've been using this pre-shave uh, soap um, a lot lately, lately with my last shaves. I, it works really well. It's the, right there, the uh, Ice Mentholated Phoenix pre-shave soap. It really works well. I like it a lot. It adds a lot of adds menthol to pretty much any soap that I want, even if it doesn't come with it like this particular uh, brand. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and make sure we get our Allen block handy for grabbing the brush and uh, we're going to get this thing loaded here. Uh, incidentally, if you notice, there's about a uh, quarter of an inch to, yeah, quarter of an inch to a half an inch right in the top there. Uh, that's really, really good for uh, blooming. I mean, for, I'm sorry, for loading. I like that. I do, a lot of soap makers are doing that nowadays. Um, it makes for, a, like, gives you a nice lip to kind of go around and really works well. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and get this thing loaded up. Oops, I forgot to take my bowl out. Pretty decent load there. Scoop out what's in there. Some people put that right on their face. I've been putting it back on the brush lately. Yeah. All right. So first of all, ease of loading. That was pretty easy. Loaded right up. That no problem there. Using a synthetic brush. Um, you know which. You know, everybody has their different opinions on those. I think they work well. So we're going to go ahead and go for a lather here. A bowl lathering. In my really complicated design here, my Japanese soup bowl. Love this thing. It works awesome. And it retains heat pretty well. I mean, it's not, it's probably not as good as some of the other ones that are out there. I mean, that you can buy, but I think this thing was, what, four or five bucks? Maybe. to it. Push that lather back down. Yeah. Looks pretty good to me. Scent's a little bit stronger, but it's got that same hotel room scent. So um, not overly impressed with the scent to be honest with you. I'll um, let's throw a little bit of water in the face and let's lather up here. I 
Hope everybody had a good day. We got nailed northeast a couple days ago, or yeah, the other night, last night, last night, night before, um, with a nasty snowstorm left us left the state covered in like a foot and a half to two feet of snow. Um, so a lot of people were cleaning up from that today. Uh, I was. Work was was not too crazy, but busy enough. Okay, a little dry. All right, there we go. Let's paint this on here. We'll get ready for our first pass. All right, plenty of lather left in the brush. Mule R41. Pulling the skin with the grain. First pass. Well, it lathered nicely in the bowl and on my face. As far as the shaving, you know, the, the slickness seems to be okay, but you can't really get a good feel for that stuff, I don't think, until your second, you know, subsequent passes, because. I love this razor. It's really. You pair it with a nice blade like an Astra. 
providing you don't have any prior facial injuries from a bad shave. It really shaves nicely. one done well the scent for me is virtually non-existent at this point um, it, it's barely there so uh, one of the things I like about the soaps are the scents so it's not you know it's not something I don't like it's just I'm not impressed by any means. But performance-wise, I can still feel the slickness on the on my face. It's also a combination of the uh, pre-shave. Um, but it is definitely still there. So I'm going to go ahead and reapply here, and we're going to go with um, cross-grain, and I'll give you guys my, uh, my opinion on that uh, when we come back. Just a bit. Okay, we're back. We went with a sideways, or uh, sideways shave. Uh, cross grain shave uh, from ear to eye and uh, slickness is still there, cushion is still there, again the scent is, is pretty much gone at this point point. Um, and uh, you know performance wise the soap is, is there, it's, it's got it's got its uh, it, it definitely has its, it, its um, performance is definitely top notch, I'm, I'm happy with it in that, in that uh, respect so uh, I really like it as far as it shaving it shaves well. I don't have any irritation from the soap itself. I had a little bit of a bleeder here, but that was due to my own mistakes and has nothing to do with the quality or, or not, you know, bad quality, good or whatever with the soap. So um, we're going to go ahead and lather up again and go uh, cross grain the other direction. And uh, we'll be back with some remarks on that one, see how that one went. Okay, we're back. Did the uh, finish up the shave there. Went ahead and cleaned up a little bit. Um, Good soap. I mean, that that my my bottom line on this. Again, we reviewed the uh, Holy Cow uh, Jamestown gentleman. Uh, I I liked it. I mean, as far as performance went, the uh, the the scent sucks. I mean, it's not an overly impressive scent, and it's not very strong. So it's kind of a it doesn't really do anything for me. It might as well be scentless, as far as I'm concerned. The um, as far as the uh, the performance goes, however, ease of loading, 10 out of 10. Ease of lathering, 10 out of 10. Uh, performance of slickness, cushion, you know, I'd say 9 out of 10 on both. You know, it's not the slickest soap I've ever used, but it is certainly not the the dry, you know, the driest by any means. And I would definitely reach for this soap if I want a good shave. Um, am I going to reach for this soap because you know what I'm having a great day and I want something that smells awesome and it's really going to? No, I have other soaps for that. This is one of the things where I just want to get in, get a good shave, and just get it done. I'll probably grab for this soap for that. But um, anyway, we're going to finish it off tonight with Sterling's Executive Man Menthol Added. It's kind of feeling like a menthol night, you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, wouldn't be a CD shave and shave without burning. I always said burning. I probably shave against the grain when I shouldn't. I don't think my face likes it when I go against the grain, but I don't care. I like the way it feels, so my face can go to hell as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it's my choice. So, um, but feels good anyway. It's a good shave. Uh, any burning that I have usually subsides within an hour or two. So, um, the menthol helps with that too. Anyway, so, uh, that's pretty much it. You know, um, you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Um, in the meantime, you know, uh, give me a shout. You know, as far as if you have questions about anything, in you know, in general and wet shaving. If I don't know the answers, I'll find out for you, and then I'll let you know that way. Um, like I said, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And in regards to the soap, you know, definitely if it's if it's within your budget, um, I think it's a little high, high priced for you know what you're getting out of it. But um, but if it's within your budget, you want to add it to your shaving, 
your shit then by all means do it i think it's you know it'll definitely do what it says you know but um beyond that i uh well i'm chad from cd shaven i hope you guys had a enjoyed my review and if you guys have any if you like the video please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video have a good night